Hello everyone, Lorraine here. Just thought I'm going to talk to you today about something that I'm really passionate about. And to me, it's like the guts of life. Um, I was talking to a friend and she was saying how she had decided to change her attitude to something and how that change of attitude had it affected her whole performance. And the more I thought about it, the more I thought it wasn't actually the attitude that cha was changing her performance. It was actually her choice, her choice to choose to change her attitude. And I've often thought about this. This is why I'm really passionate about choice. And to me, it really is the guts. It's the bottom it is the bottom feeder that underpins everything that we do, everything we have in life. You know, it's our choice that makes the rich rich, the poor poor. You know, it's, it's choice that makes the messy person continue to be messy. You know, it's, it's our choice that makes the, the person who always turns up on time turn up on time and reliable. You know, it's our choice if we're going to be unreliable and no one's going to know what we're going to do because we choose to be that way. We choose our attitude. And even taking this a step back, you know, my father passed away quite a few years ago and every year on the anniversary of his death, I made a real logical choice because it was very logical that I was going to throw tantrums that day that, Everyone was going to know that I was in pain because my dad had died. So my family suffered because, you know, I'd walk around and I would be miserable and, blah, 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 you know, this is the anniversary of dad's death. And, blah. and it was like, oh, 10, 15 years later that I suddenly understood that I didn't have to be that way. I turned being oh, just revolting into a habit of how I behaved on that anniversary date. And all of a sudden I went, I can still remember dad. I can still honour dad. And I can still miss dad. And I can still cry about missing dad. But <laughs> I can choose not to behave that way. I can choose not to feel so terrible that day. And I can choose to still honour him and love him. And from that day on, the anniversary of dad's death, yep, it's still, a, still a day that I know what it is. But I tell you what, my life is so much nicer and so much better for everyone else because I've chosen not to behave like that. I've chosen an attitude of gratitude rather than, an attitude of, poor me, poor me, I lost my dad. And I loved my dad, obviously. <laughs> so choice is, it really does affect everything. It affects all the way we think. It affects the way we feel. It affects all, everything in our life. You know, it shapes our life. Our choices shape our life. You know, it's our choices that make us get into action. It's our choices that keep us from going into action. So it's our choices that make us successful or make us a failure. Mm, interesting thought, isn't it? Yeah, attitude has got a lot to do with it. But we have to choose that attitude before we even get, get to the attitude part. So we can choose to change our life. We can choose it. It's, it's all about us making that decision that that's what we want to do. Do you know, and some of these choices that we make are going to be uncomfortable. You know, they're going to make us fearful. But we can choose if we're going to step through that fear and do it anyway. Or if the fear, we can choose if the fear is going to consume us 
and we're not going to do anything. Mm, it's an interesting thought, isn't it? You know, we can choose to make a chocolate brownie. Sounds great. But if we don't have chocolate and we choose not to put the chocolate in because we want to put added vanilla in it and use up the bananas, a chocolate brownie is not a chocolate brownie. We have chosen not to make the chocolate brownie, even though we chose to make a chocolate brownie. Mm. Our choices have dictated that we've made, a, we've made a banana cake. Yeah, it's all about our choices. And sometimes we need to ask for help to get our choices met. So asking and saying, can you help me do this? means that we're choosing to step in the right direction. So if you're choosing to step in the right direction, get yourself a coach, get yourself a mentor, get yourself someone who can keep you accountable for what you say you're going to do. You know, choose to actually achieve what you've set out to do. You know, it's all up to you. There are so many benefits of making a choice a choice for the right thing you are in the driver's seat of your own life and if you choose to drive on the wrong side of the road you're not going to live very long if you choose to take the scenic trip you'll be here for a long time and you'll have enjoyed your life you know it really is all about what you want and your choices that you make in your life so what are you going to choose to do? How are you going to choose to behave? How are you going to choose to turn up? Mm. What are you going to choose? Pop it in the comments below. Tell me what you've chosen to do today. And have a wonderful day, everyone.